Hi guys, Yogesh Agarwal here. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use SC Scrapper, Proxies, and how to configure our SMTP settings. Let me start with logging in. Uh, so, in my last tutorial, I have explained you how to set up your project. So here I will explain you how to set up your SMTP setting first. So basically you need SMTP settings only if you want backlinks or account information emailed to you automatically when a project is done. So typically when your project is done and if you have configured SMTP settings it will email you information regarding all your accounts that are created in wiki sites and backlinks as well. So let's start. First step is to configure your SMTP settings. You need to go to app settings, SMTP settings and the main thing here is your free email providers like uh, yahoo hotmail gmail or anything it will not work please use only hosted solution so here i'll be demonstrating this functionality using my own wiki submitter site my wiki submitter site is hosted in cpanel let me open it up so in cpanel in your main dashboard when you click on email accounts link you will get this page uh, here I have I have few email IDs. I am just clicking on set up mail client and it takes me here in this page. Here for SMTP you need to use this that is outgoing server. See this mail.wikisubmitter.com. This is my outgoing server. So I'll just copy it and paste it here and my port will be 26. this is this one SMTP port and here email ID and password is like it is the email ID that should be hosted with uh, wikisubmitter.com so I'll be using my support email support at the rate of wikisubmitter.com and I'll be using password I'll be saving it test so here this is how we have to configure our uh, SMTP setting once this is done we just need to enter an email ID where you wish to receive your uh, reports that is here I have set as support at wikisubmitter.com from this email ID it will send an email to this ID so once this project is done I will get all my email accounts and backlinks to this email ID I have already set this up and this as this project is already done I have already got email so once the project is done you will get an email like this see this this is the email and in attachment you will get account information that is this will this is the link and this is the username and this is the password this is sent after registration task is complete so when posting is done you will get an another email this one and uh, this is the attachment yes this is it this will work only if you have configured your SMTP set settings along with uh, if you have set an email ID here and if you have selected both the options here this will work only if you have done this thing this is all about SMTP settings and when we talk about POP3 basically Yahoo and Hotmail are supported and you need phone verified accounts in order for the emails to be verified so this is all about SMTP settings and POP3 configuration let me uh, explain you how to use proxy configuration for proxy uh, basically you need it only when you have more than 50,000 or 100,000 links to submit so let's start uh, you can either purchase proxy from here uh, I have already purchased it so I'll be showing you how to use it I have already configured it so this is my account and I have these proxies so once you purchase proxies you will see all your proxies under my proxies area here you need to use IP authentication so just select this and here your IP will automatically be detected so once it is detected just copy and paste this here click here so actually I have already added this so it won't work I am just uh, showing you 
so once it's done click on save and once it's save it, it will take at least 10 minutes for the servers to propagate the with this IP so once this is done you can just click on add proxies from file and select this it will automatically add all the proxies and once this is done just go to app settings go to system settings and click on use proxies this will enable usage of proxies it will use proxies in scraping as well as in registration and posting make sure you have good quality of proxies else all the jobs will fail that is dependent on these proxies so guys this is all about proxies and uh, now uh, let me start with scraper so basically in scraper we have two sections first is footprints and second is keywords so I get lots and lots of question what is footprints how can we get a footprints yeah today I'll be explaining you all about it but before that let me explain what footprint is footprint is basically it defines basic URL structure of a website. So let's say MediaWiki. MediaWiki is a platform. We have millions of millions of sites that are powered by MediaWiki. So here the URL structure will be common among all the sites. Rarely in one or two sites it will be different. So in order to get MediaWiki sites, we need to use its footprint. So I have a footprint here. So these are all backlinks that I created. So what I will do is in this backlinks you can find see this backslash index.php question mark title is equal. It is common among all the URLs. So I would say that this is one of the footprints. There are lots and lots of footprints and you can easily find these kind of footprints in Google. Just for demonstration purpose I am using this. So I will just use this. I will use a Google search command operator that is in URL and this so now what will happen is it will go to Google and it will use this footprint along with my keyword education so here it will dig down all the results that have backslash index dot PHP question mark title is equal to this this token in the URL and this keyword somewhere in the web page So it will query up the Google and it will drag down all the results. See this. So I would say like these all are wiki site. So this is how this will work. And right now so so far within two minutes we ma within like few seconds we have managed to get around 175 sites. So for this please use proxies because your IP will easily get banned. So guys this is all about SE Scrapper. So currently we are working on to find more footprints. Uh, we will add in software uh, on down the line. Uh, that's all guys. If you have any question please don't hesitate to create a support ticket. Thank you guys.